Today's video is very special because I'm officially welcoming you into my home and I'm officially introducing myself. My name is Zakia, and I believe in living your most beautiful life. I believe that your home should be your sanctuary and the things around you should reflect what you love and make you happy. This space has definitely evolved over the years as my tastes have evolved, but certain things have remained the same. I love a fresh, bright, neutral living space. So on the walls, I use bare ultra pure white in an eggshell finish. And I love it because it's a clean, neutral white that makes a great backdrop. If you're like me and you like to change out your decor seasonally, then choose the larger decor items in your space in neutral colors, like your sofa and your coffee table and your rug. And that way, whenever you want to change things out, you can just try different color pillows or different types of throws or vases, and it's going to work because you have that neutral backdrop. I found this sofa at a resale store for $250 and when I brought it home I looked online and I was able to find it online for over $4,000. So it was definitely a great buy. But my coffee table was actually an even better buy because it was free. One day I was driving down the street, this was over nine years ago, and I spotted this table on the side of the road and I called my husband and I told him where it was and asked him to pick it up and we cleaned it and it's been our coffee table ever since. Next to the coffee table is our ottoman that I actually made myself with an old tabletop, some high density foam that I upholstered, I added legs and then I sewed a slipcover for it. On the art wall, I used a money-saving hack. Instead of trying to find one really large piece of artwork to fill this space here, I actually grouped several inexpensive frames and I painted the artwork myself and that's gonna save even more money. On the opposite side of the room is the fireplace, which is a real focal point. I decided to use this Moroccan inspired cement tile and the thing I love about this tile is how subtle the colors are. The tile has a very bold pattern but the low contrast color still makes it peaceful and restful to the eye. Above the tile is this mantle, which I made myself uh, over a year ago actually and I still haven't stained it because I haven't made up my mind as to what color I want it to be. But I still love it. It's really modern and really fresh and really pretty. Are you like that? Do you sometimes start a home improvement project and don't finish until years later sometimes? Let me know down in the comments if you've ever done anything like that. The sea fan on the mantle is something that we brought back from a vacation in Puerto Rico and every time I look at it, it makes me happy because it makes me remember that vacation and also I really love the ocean and the beach. When you style your home, you should use pieces that make you feel good and things that make you feel happy, mementos that bring back good memories. I also brought lots of greenery and plants into the room. These are the things that breathe life into your room, especially when you have such a neutral palette. I've had this fig tree for over three years now and I would hands down say that it's one of the best decor purchases I've ever made. So I hope you've enjoyed this living room tour and I would also ask that you consider subscribing and becoming a part of the beautiful living community if you like content like this. Until next time, live beautifully.